What was the development process of yoga in America? Yoga is an effort to control the physical and the mental powers of the individual. It originated in India around 3000 BC. Yoga has many word meanings, to control, to subdue, to unite. In 1893, Swami Vivekananda was the first person to bring yoga to America. Before leaving India, he wrote, America is the place, people, and opportunity for everything new. In 1920, Paramahansa Yogananda wrote the first modern spiritual classic. In 1924, the United States Immigration Service imposed a quota on Indian immigration, making it impossible for Orientals to travel to America. In 1947, Theos Bernard returned from India and wrote an important yoga source book. In 1947, Indra Devi opened a yoga studio in Hollywood. In 1950, Richard Hittleman returned to New York from India to teach yoga. In those days, he introduced yoga to many Americans. Millions of copies of his books were sold. In 1961, he pioneered yoga on television. In the 1950s, the Baptiste family began the yoga dynasty. Yoga was established on the West Coast in the mid-50s with Walton Magana Baptiste's San Francisco studio. The family yoga dynasty continues today with their children, Baron and Sherry. One of the largest networks of yoga schools opened in the 1960s, headquartered in Montreal in the 1960s meditation and yoga exploded in America. Under the leadership of Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, transcendental meditation spread to America. In 1965, America lifted the ban on immigration to India. In 1966, BKS Iyengar's book Light to Yoga was published in the United States. Thanks to this book, anatomy progressed. In 1966, Swami Sachidananda opened the Woodstock Festival. By the 70s, yoga and its spiritual teachings could be found everywhere. In 1975, the first issue of Yoga Journal was published. After this date, yoga has developed and survived until today. Follow the channel for more and stay updated.